Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Welcome to a bit of a different inbox review. Now this is a Ella, I think I pronounced that right. It's an Ella. It's 124th scale and it's the Ferguson TE20. Uh, the French bit I ain't going to read, it's uh, petit, guru, whatever it is, but I know what petite means, it means sport. Uh, the reason why I'm, I've am i bought this kit, well, I've got a farming background, would you believe, which I do, I do have a farming background, and uh, this particular little tractor uh, the Ferguson was my tractor when I was on on the farm with my family and I saw it and I thought to myself I want to build that and that's what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to bore the arse off you now with a little bit of history on it uh, to kick off with uh, Ferguson, uh, Harry Ferguson it was born 1984 1884, not 18, not 1984. It won't, won't make him that old, will it? Now, he was born in Ireland, uh, and his family was uh, farmers, and he designed this, uh, the three-point linkage. Now, the three-point linkage, very interesting thing, because the three-point linkage revolutionised farming as a whole. Uh, he tried to get this actually made. He made because he worked in the uh, car industry in Belfast, and he actually managed to get 2,000 units made before he had a uh, an argument with them, and and that was it. So he only got 2,000 units made, and then he te teamed up with uh, Henry Ford, which uh, then became uh, the Ford Ferguson. Now it was, that was only sold in America, and it was going to be exported to Britain, but uh, due to the war, uh, all the ex exports were stopped. And after the war, he actually approached uh, the Standard Mo Motor Company in Coventry, and they started production in 19, 1946. Yeah, 1946. Now. They did produce a lot of these. They, from the time that they started to uh, the time they closed the doors in 1956, they produced well over half a million of these little tractors of different variants of uh, petrol and diesel. And they were sold in 160, oh, excuse me, 160 different countries. There was even there was even manufactured in France. And then, when the doors closed, the company was sold to Massey, the Canadian company, and that's how we get Massey Fergie today. But I'm not interested in Massey Fergie, I'm interested in the Fergie. So, well, I'll tell you the rest of it as well. Uh, they were built in, made in France as well, uh, with imported parts from Britain, and they made these and assembled them in France and then roughly about what 1957 1958 somewhere around there uh, the French company actually started to produce it and it went from the TE 20 to the FF 30 and they just did some very subtle changes it was a mirror image of the tractor except for they put a soft padded uh, seat on that lifted up they put a different steering wheel on and they painted it a different color they painted it red so that's a bit of the Fergie history. Now, I have bought two of these. Yeah? Now, the one we're looking at now is a petrol version. And I'm going to build the petrol version. The second one, I'm actually going to build uh, the tractor that I had as a lad on the farm. And that was a diesel, so I'm going to have to do a lot of conversion. To convert this from petrol to diesel, but that's going to be a build on its own. And 
as soon as I finish this uh, review I'm going to start building this and I'm going to put the review out and the build log all together so you can see the review and see what it looks like when it's been built. So we look around the box, box, beautiful tractor on the <laughs> tractor on the front. I'm in love with these little tractors. I really am. And if uh, if I could, ha if I did have some space that I could actually put one, my wife, my good lady knows that I would buy one tomorrow because I, I keep looking on on uh, the sales pages. I would have one tomorrow just just to play with. That would that be it? Just to be play, play with anyway. Right, it's got 128 parts. Uh, not a great deal on the outside of the box like I say, plus I've never had one of these, so we looked at the box, and we don't have a great deal in the box. We do have rubber tyres, uh, two, two rear and four front, we'll get into that in a little while. There is uh, two large sprues. We'll put them to one side and then we shall come down and have a little look. We have a fantastic workshop manual. Look at that. Picture on the front, a nice booklet form. And we all, oh, you've even got some history of the uh, little Fergie in here, lovingly known as the little grey Fergie. And in the corner, I've got one of the smallest decal sheets, transfers, or stickers that I've ever had in my life. So, we'll put that to one side. I'm going to stop the camera, bring it down, and we'll have a look at the parts. Okay, I lied. I said we'd be back with the parts. We're back with the workshop manual. All right, nice little booklet. Really like this. Beautiful little picture of the Fergie on the front. Uh, first page, you've got a little bit of a history on the tractor and about bits and pieces about it. And that's in a couple of different uh, languages. Uh, moving on, there's not a lot to this build, but it's going to be a fiddly build, I would say. So we start off with the two halves of the engine. Uh, then we've got putting the rocker cover on bits and pieces. Uh, the uh, steering rack or steering column for the actual tractor itself water pump, front axle going on, uh, the dynamo, the fan and top half of the water pump and that. Radiator, I could go into a lot more detail but I won't bore the arse off you. I can do that when I'm building it. Uh, then we've got the radiator assembly, uh, starter motor, yeah that would be the starter motor, oil filter, solenoid, uh, and a distributor going in, like I say, this this version to petrol. Air filter, and then we got the manifolds going on, fuel tank, nicely set out, nice large pictures, nice, just a few, few things going on in each, each picture, that's what I like. Uh, dashboard going on, uh, axles, and then we've got the tyres being assembled, uh, da and then we've got what's that? Oh, that that's the braking system because uh, they had two brakes. They had a stamp brake as well as a ordinary foot brake. They had one that you could actually stamp down with your heel on. Then we've got the uh, front front arm going on and the steering uh, going over the page. Uh, they're just showing you to put the steering on. Then we start assembling the front tyres. Uh, the front wheels, I think there's yeah, there's two variants of the top. There's two different types of tyre. One is the traditional uh, Ferguson one, is the one, and the other one's the very early Ferguson tyre. Uh, probably more for the uh, uh, FF30, and the same with the seats here. We've got the standard uh, 20, and we've got the standard 30. So the 30 one's padded, and it lifts up. The, the British one, that don't lift up, that's got a few holes drilled in it, let the water out. Still very cold on the bum in the morning. Right, I've got uh, on to 42, then we've got the, you know, putting the seat on, putting the last little bits and pieces on the dashboard, the kill switch and things like that. The two variants of the steering wheel, uh, 
the uh, 20 is the one with the kinks in the steering wheel and the French version is the straightforward one. Now we go on to uh, assembling the kick brakes, the stamp down brakes, the uh, hydraulics for the back and moving over toolbox being put on, uh, the rear mud guards, uh, the, hood, the bonnet or the hood whichever way you want to call it and then we come over to the exhaust I mean this is like everybody knows a tractor with the exhaust pipe coming up but the original ones the early ones had the exhaust actually running underneath like a car uh, then we got headlights and then we move into the three-point linkage and this is assembly of the three-point linkage and that's the job actually done so not too much but I bet it's going to be fiddly so then we move on we've got some nice layout of, of all the sprues all nicely numbered up nice and clear that's what I like to see of both sprues uh, then we go on to the colour call outs and the first call out is going to be grey as it's the little grey Fergie there's two options on the uh, Ferguson uh, logo on the front one's in black and one's in blue and I can't remember which is the early and which is the later version. So, <coughs> excuse me. Then we've got a few decals for the uh, oil and fuel. And that's it to go on to there. And we've got the next door neighbour dog barking now. They're going to, they're going to shoot it. Uh, moving on, we've got another colour call out for the Ferguson FF30 this is the uh, French one and as you can see this is now the colour call out is red for the chassis but they still kept the bonnet and the mud guards in grey and this is where it sort of transfers over now to the classic uh, red for the uh, Ferguson or Massey Ferguson should I say and exactly the same with that uh, call outs for the uh, oil and fuel and that's it now we shall get ho over to the parts and have a closer look at them right on with the parts <sighs> all look extremely nice and I've looked over them and I can't find any flash or anything uh, everything is moulded really nice uh, we've got the two different steering wheels here you can't see, I don't know if you can see one's got slightly kinked in it and the other's straight we've got the ordinary seat there all nicely detailed the uh, three point linkage hydraulics top all nicely detailed that's the uh, seat for the British one and that is the seat for the French one that one lifts up, the British one don't just shows you stick it on that'll do uh, well, the radiator looks nice and it's going to be interesting to find out what these parts actually come off how they come off because there's some very very thin parts so we'll see if they're fracture when you have to cut them off or well we'll see all that in the uh, in the build everything is nice done, exhaust nice there all the little bits and pieces are all nicely moulded I have got no complaints at all over that on to the back uh, there's not much to see on the back nothing too you know, inject mark pins are all inside move across to the second sprue nicely detailed. I'm really pleased with those. They're well detailed actually and there's no flash at all. All your three part linkage, front grille for the radiator, bonnet, all nicely done. There is a mark on there. Oh dear. Oh no it's a bit of dirt. We'll wipe that off in a minute. all your front, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it now, the front axle we'll call it, 
because uh, they're extended out so you could uh, either put the front wheels out or narrow them in to fit whatever you're actually cultivating at the time like I said there's, there's some very thin delicate parts on there What's this? Oh, it's a bit of uh, hairy styrene. Wheels look good. Uh, brake drums. Oh, that's a neat idea. They've got the actual wheel, they've cast the wheel drum inside the part of the wheel. Huh. Uh, guards. All nicely done. Oh. Over to the side. I can't see no problems at all with them. No problems at all. Inject mark pins or inside, so you're not going to see them. Uh, Injector mark pins, and they might show. Over the, they probably will. They're going to show over the top of the wheels. You've got one, two, three, four, you've got five of them on each. So that might be a bit of rubbing, filling and rubbing down. But we'll see. We shall see. All in all, very nice, very nice. Moving on to the tyres. Nicely done. The seam line's where it should be. It's in between the... the, the uh, two pads there. At least the seam line is not running across the top of the pad, uh, which I shall leave because that is where the seam line should be because these are moulded in two halves in real life. But very nice. Uh, just picking up rubbish now. Look. Very nice when the camera focuses. Come on camera. Very nicely done. And here we have uh, the more traditional Fergie front wheel, nicely done. And this is the very early type, the more of a, a rounded wheel. But all very nicely done, very nicely done indeed. And then we get onto this huge sheet of uh, decals. Now I have noticed that the lights are not drilled out and they actually give you these uh, decals to go over the top of them which I won't be doing, I won't be using them, I'll be putting, I'll be drilling them out and putting some lenses in but there's the two different uh, logos Ferguson in blue and Ferguson in black and I'll have to do a little bit of checking to actually find out which was the earlier and which is the late then just two little dials and that's the biggest, that's the smallest sheet I've ever had. So that is it for the uh, inbox review and now I'm actually, when that camera focuses, I'm actually now, once I've finished here I'm going over and I'm going to start building this and I'm going to put both of these out together. So thank you very much for joining me and uh, if you're interested I'll see you on the build.